and welcome to day 16 of August vlogs. Um, today we are having a very very lazy Saturday. We're not doing anything, we're not going anywhere, so I thought instead of giving you snippets of a very lazy day where we're not doing anything and we're not going anywhere, <laughs> I would sit down and I would have a little chat about socks. Um, yeah, so everyone is downstairs entertained at the moment. I am currently sat up on our bed, in our bedroom. Um, the light's quite nice in here actually, I've never really recorded much in here. Um, and I thought, as I said, I would talk about socks. Obviously I mean hand knit socks, because you don't really want to know about socks I buy at the supermarket, do you? <laughs> um, but throughout this year, every time I have finished a pair of socks this year, I have popped it in this box. Um, I've not been wearing any of the socks that I finished this year. My plan is to um, kind of collect them all together in this box and then at the beginning of December I will get them out and I'll be able to wear them throughout December and then obviously once December's over they'll just join my sock drawer and be in my regular hand knit sock rotation. That sounds a lot fancier than um, it is. <laughs> I'll just wear them normally. Um, so I thought I would share first of all um, all the socks that I have finished this year. Um, a lot of these you will have seen if you're a regular viewer of the podcast but I thought it would be fun to go back over them. And then I've also got three pairs of socks currently on the needles that I will share as well. So here is the box with the socks in. I'm not actually sure how many pairs are in here yet. We'll have to have a look. Let's see. One, two... That's not a pair of socks. Three, four, five, six, seven pairs in here so far. And what are we in now? August. Oh, so I've nearly done a pair a month and I hopefully I'll get a pair finished this month. Um, right, let's start at the bottom. I'm going to turn these over. Let's start at the bottom. Let's start with these socks. These were my Christmas Eve cast on. Or except I didn't get to cast them on on Christmas Eve. I ended up casting them on on Christmas Day. Um, and here they are. Um, so the yarn I used for these ones was um, a Down Sheepy Lane um, Christmas self-striping colourway. I think the colourway was called Bauble, Baubles. Um, and it was one of her awesome sets that she does, which is um, 50 grams of self-striping and a mini to go with it. Um, that's just a really fun colour really really enjoyed these really bright and colorful um i think i think this might have been a bfl nylon yeah i think it is a bfl um it's a bfl nylon um which is lovely it's a really good sock base and i just popped in a little eyelet pattern um so i didn't do anything particularly fancy just um everything every time i changed every other color i did um kind of knit one I think I did knit two yarn over knit two together something like that I can't really remember um, it was just a really simple eyelet row just to give the sock a little bit of a pattern and as you can see I only did that down the front of the leg um, but yeah I really enjoyed knitting those um, and that's the first pair I'll pop those ones away um, and then I've also got these ones, um, again I'll pop one on the sock blocker because it gives you a chance to see the pattern. These really need properly blocking and I haven't actually blocked these properly. Um, the yarn for these ones is my yarn um, and I used two colourways. Um, so the grey is um, Storm Cloud and the multicolored one is my um, Voyage of the Dawn Treader colorway. Um, and I striped them. I mean, the, the pattern was designed for two colorways, so I followed the pattern. Um, the pattern is the Window Seat Socks um, by Jessie Marie Makes. Um, I'm trying to see if I, I can't. There we go. 
um, and it's just a really really fun pattern it works well with two colors it's also written to work with self-striping as well in the pattern it gives you instructions of how to do it with two colors and how to do it with self-striping um, but it's a really really fun pattern um, I test knit, test knit these socks um, and yeah really really fun so that's the second pair then we're now hearing the Tom shouting at the children because the children are fighting um, and then what else did I knit up oh, these ones these ones have been blocked because they kind of needed to be blocked for the lace um, so again they are a pair there's the second one um, so these are the sock nest socks which is a pattern by Sal Sal Salapalooza Knits um, and it's just got this really fun kind of cable and lace detail um, down one leg one side of the sock um, and the yarn I used for these is a Bergère de France this was a commercial sock yarn um, one of their Gumi 50 range and I think the colorway was Imprim Ciel um, but a really fun commercial sock yarn colorway made really pretty socks so that's pair number three Pair number four is going to be these ones. Um, and again, I'll just pop one on the sock blocker if I can. Why are you not going on the sock blocker straight? There we go. There we go. Kind of. There we are. Um, again, they are a pair, I promise. <laughs> it's just easier to show you one on the sock blocker. Um, so these are the Forever and Always socks. Um, it's a pattern by Danielle George, who is um, Little Bobbins. Um, I love this cable pattern. I love the way that you've got um, the kind of stocking stitch and the garter stitch sides of the cable and the way they intertwine. This was part of her, um, she did like a, a vintage love story collection inspired by I think it was inspired by her and her husband's engagement rings and there was an engraving on one of them. Anyway, um, she created a story to do with a couple um, and there was um, a sock based for each couple and then there was this sock, which is the Forever, Forever and Always sock. Um, and this was kind of about the two, the two people entwining in their love story and in their marriage. Um, so yeah, I just thought these were a super pretty pair of socks. And again, you've got the kind of cable pattern on one side on one sock, and then it's just one side on the other sock, um, which is always really fun and simple. And the yarn I used for this one, this one is Lay Family Yarn, and it's the Crocus colorway, which was her Flower Power Fund colorway from a couple of years ago now. And look, I actually did a heel flap and gusset, and it reminded me of why I don't like knitting a heel flap and gusset. Um, so that's pair number four. Pair number five is this one. Oh, yeah, no, I remember now. <laughs> I had a moment of, oh, I can't remember who the yarn for this one. No, right, this is, um, there's no pattern. I just created up, created the pattern myself. Um, so I just did um, down either side of the front of the sock, I just put in a double row of twisted stitches, basically. Um, and I did the same down the back of the leg, just there. Um, but yeah, it's not a pattern as 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 such. Um, I think I just did knit two. I did knit. I think I did knit two, purl two, knit two stitches through the back loop, purl two, and then I knit and then did the same at the other end of the needle. If that makes any sense. Um, if you're interested in the pattern, then I can always just jot it down for you um, and work out what it was that I did. I'm not going to be releasing it as a proper pattern, though, but I'm happy to just kind of send you a message with what I did in, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, the yarn for this one, I'm trying to get the best colour. If I hold it back here, it's probably a little bit better, um, is from Fu Fruit uh, Fruitful Fusion, Ishrat at Fruitful Fusion. Um, and it was... Um, it didn't really have a colourway, but it was they did. A, she did a collaboration with Jill of Bertie and Poppet, and the bag, and in fact, this bag. There we go. Um, this bag and this yarn were the kind of collaboration set that went together. Um, but yeah, really, really pretty yarn. I love the way that this one kind of micro striped. Um, really, really pretty. So that is pair number five, I think. 
Pair number six is a fun pair of scrappy socks. Um, again, no pattern. These are just vanilla socks. And there is a pair again. These are just vanilla socks. Um, these were using um, a set of minis that was a collaboration between Debbie of Down Sheepy Lane and Vicky of West Green Loft Yarns. And they did a Halloween collaboration, which was based on um, Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. Um, it's kind of, I don't know if you've heard of it. It's a, it was a book originally. There's been a TV, a film, sorry. There's been a film now as well. Um, but the book um, was very clever. It took um, the classic Pride and Prejudice and then changed it a little bit as if there was a zombie apocalypse and um, all the girls and the women from Pride and Prejudice were zombie zombie killers were zombie killers yeah basically um it was really fun twist on a classic story um but yeah so that is it i used all the minis to make scrappy socks for these so they're kind of halloween socks really and then the final pair of socks um you'll recognize if these definitely recognize these if you see the podcast because these are the last socks that i finished um and again there's no pattern as such for these i just made it up and again there is a pair um, so these are using um, an Easy Knits yarn. Um, I can't remember. Was it just? I think it was just rainbow grey. Rainbow grey was the colourway. Um, I popped in a mini skein, just one from my stash, I think, um, and I just did a fun kind of pearl pattern. So every other time that the rainbow stripe came round the sock, I purled the row after it. Um, so that I got these little rainbow pearl bumps and I did it down the front and the back of the sock on the leg and then I just did it down the top of the sock on the foot um, and, I, and I did a garter stitch toe on that one um, but yeah they're really fun I really really enjoyed those and actually haven't gotten them back out again I can't wait to wear them um, so that is the entire box of um, ready hand knit socks for December and I'm working on three socks at the moment, which you will have seen recently um, and you will probably see a bit of when I podcast tomorrow, hopefully. But the other socks I'm working on at the moment are my Cornish Cream Tea socks, which are these ones here, um, using some Down Sheepy Lane yarn. And I'm also working on some stripy socks using um, Yarn Badger yarn. Um, and that is these ones right here. And finally, I'm working on my scrappy birthday socks as well, um, which are these ones here. So hopefully I will have another pair of socks, if not two pairs of socks finished this month, which would be good. Um, my aim this year was to knit 10 pairs of socks. Um, I thought I'd give myself a little bit of leeway. Um, but I'm kind of on track to manage to knit 12. So that would be really good. If I could get 12 pairs of socks finished this year, um, that would be that would be brilliant, actually. Anyway, that was my plan for today's video. Just a quick sock tour. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and tomorrow we are going to go out for a walk. So we will take you with you, take you with us. Um, I've put up a poll on YouTube using the communities tab, which I've not used before, um, but I discovered there's a poll fee, a poll, I can't say it, a poll feature, P-O-L-L, -L, um, <laughs> a voting feature. Let's go with that. Um, obviously, it will be far too late by the time you see this video to vote because we'll already be on our walk because this will go up tomorrow. Um, but I just thought that'd be fun. So hopefully you'll have had a chance to see it and you'll be able to vote whether we go for coast, country, coast forest or hill walk tomorrow um and we're just going to decide first thing in the morning i'm going to have a little look at the vote and see what people have voted for we've picked three places one coast one hill and one forest and whichever of those options gets the highest votes that's where we'll go um so i think that'll be quite good fun it also takes the pressure out of us having to decide where to go but anyway, thank you for watching again, as always, and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye.